Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com. Today, I want to show you the RYO OptoDist. This is a distortion VCA limiter uh, that's pretty interesting in the fact that it uses this row of LEDs here as a limiter and lets you get some really grungy distortions, and actually, you can get subtle distortions with it as well. Uh, the way this thing is set up is it is a build-your-own kit. Uh, you can get them pre-built or you can build them yourself. Uh, you'll see the build in this video as well. If you, if you watch to the end, you'll see me uh, build this thing up. And uh, we've got the gain up top here, signal input. There's a gain CV input, which connects to this guy here, this little CV input here. We have our signal input and our signal output. And then we've got the LED limiter on and off right here. Now, with the LED limiter off, it's a much more subtle sound and just... Um, really dynamic and punchy when you turn that on you get some really interesting grungy sounds what i've done is i've sampled a loop of drums from uh, one of my latest machine expansion packs into the uh, make noise phonogene and i'm just running the phonogene clean straight into the opto disc so let's take a listen to how it sounds and as you uh as we go through i'll i'll affect it so let's take a listen we'll bring the signal input up and let's bring some gain on. And this is about how it sounds undistorted. Now let's go ahead and bring this thing up and uh, take a listen to what it does. So you can get that really cool kind of um, overdriven sampler sound um, if you just kind of drive it a little bit. Or you can go full out grunge with it. Now that's all with the LED limiter off. Now let's go ahead and kick that on and take a listen. And when I turn that on, you'll see these LEDs will flash in time with the peaks. A much stronger hard limiter. back it off. And you can see in the waveforms how it really cuts it off. Now I want to show you something interesting with this. I'm going to take the gain uh, back pretty far and what we'll do is I'm going to send it a a pulse from my Anamodule TikTok here which is just a clock divider a musical clock divider and a maths clock divider and I'm going to send that into the CV input so it's going to be pulsing the CV gain on this let's go ahead and turn this up Send it a fast pulse.
Now, another fun thing that we can do, another fun thing that we can do here is I'm going to take the input signal and I'm going to split it. So it's going to go to my input, okay? And it's also going to go to the CV gain. Now let's take a listen to that. Bring the CV gain down. Bring the gain up just a bit. And let's bring the CV gain up now. And that allows us to basically have, you know, like an envelope follower, uh, a distortion follower, really. Uh, so that's very, very useful for if you're wanting to sculpt some, some dirty drums or do something interesting like that. Now, let's also take a listen to what this thing does to uh, simple, you know, simple synthesizer waveforms. Uh, what we'll do here is I'm going to send in, uh, I've got the uh, micro brute right below the modular here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and let this thing play. And let's bring some signal input in here. And now I'm sending it just a triangle wave. And as I push the gain up, we'll see what this thing does. distortion on there. Now again, if we send it some pulses, Let's make this waveform a little more complex. Now we're going to take the limiter off, bring it up. Now it gets a little bit louder without the limiter, of course. Let's back this off. Again with the limiter on. Let's change that tempo. And again, just a regular triangle wave, no distortion. See how it just squares it off. And what's cool about this is that on the back side inside of the circuit board, uh, when you're when you're building this, you can decide there's a little trimmer on there, and you can decide exactly how much distortion you want this thing to create. So if you want your opto disc to be more mellow and, and subdued, you can do that. Or if you want it to be really ruckus like this one, you can do that as well. Now I have mine about 
probably about 90% of the amount of distortion you can get out of it. I found that basically just by listening to it is how I calibrated it. And uh, once you get past a certain point, it'll start to bring in um, different peaks and different uh, odd harmonics that you either may or may not want. I chose to, to not add those into my signal, so I backed it off just a hair. Um, but of course, if you wanted that, you could certainly do that to get it even more ruckus than it already is. So something definitely worth checking out. Again, this is the Opto Disc by RYO. You can get this thing pre-built or you can build it yourself as a kit. Stay tuned and check out the building video. Flux with fluxwithit.com. Peace. Saturation. This is cutting all amplifiers. Saturation.